ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಸೊ ಐ ವಾಂಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಸಮರೈಸ್ ಫ್ಯೂ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಲರ್ನ್ ಡೆಸ್ಟರ್ಡೆ ಇನ್ ಕಾನ್ಸನ್ಟ್ರೇಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೇಸಿಕಲಿ ಅ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಟು ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಮಿನಿಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಪುಟ್ ಇನ್ ಆಸ್ ಎ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ಡೈಲಿ ರೂಟೀನ್ ಸೊ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಎನಿ ವೈ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಯು ದ ಅದರ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಔಟ್ ದ ಡೇ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಬಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ very important every time when the mind wanders we have to come back and be in the present moment throughout the day as i said we have to put our heart and soul into the present moment if you do this one thing all other things will slowly start happening so every time when the mind wanders just gently bring it back and be in the present moment we have to bring the consciousness to the front and our thoughts and emotions to the back this is one thing which we all of us have to put into practice throughout the day this is the first thing second about 15 20 minutes of practice what we discussed as i said uh, spine plays a very important role so we have to keep the spine flexible so incorporate any form of physical activity if not yoga whatever you like just incorporate any form of physical activity for at least 15 to 20 minutes of practice if you don't find time at least the backward and forward and backward bending what we learned yesterday so that at least you should do and the side twist side twist at least this practice of 5 minutes will ensure that your spine remains flexible and throughout the day as much as possible sit absolutely straight so through this we take care of the spine part of it and then the practice 15 20 minutes of daily practice what we spoke see sit cross leg or you can sit on the chair the back and the neck should be absolutely straight you should keep a gentle focus between the eyebrows head slightly tilted upwards and initially we will be inhaling deeply for about 5 to 6 seconds then we are holding it again for same 5 to 6 seconds and then we are going to exhale again for the same period 5 to 6 seconds so this we are going to practice for 5 minutes this is the first step inhalation holding and then exhalation for the same period 5 to 6 seconds so as i said uh, this initially you have to practice sitting in front of a wall clock because otherwise you will not be able to inhale and hold and exhale for the same duration just for time being for 3 4 days if you put this into practice then slowly you can do it without having a clock in front of you this is the first thing and then once you practice this for 2 minutes just observe the silence or you can observe the natural breath once you practice 5 minutes of deep inhalation holding and exhalation once you do that so let's move to the second step that is about the brahmari so you will be touching the tongue to the upper palate and you will be consciously as you exhale you will be chanting nakara you will inhale while exhaling you will be chanting nakara na this is nakara the tongue should be touching the upper palate and consciously you will be chanting nakara this you can do it for 6 to 7 rounds then once you complete this again sit in silence for about 2 to 3 minutes and just observe the changes happening in your head region you can feel the vibration with little awareness and then we'll move to the third step the third step is the breathing will be normal you will not be putting any effort of any sort as you inhale mentally you will be chanting so as you exhale you will be chanting hum so hum this is consciously you will be chanting mentally you will not be making any sound from the mouth mentally you will be chanting so with inhalation and hum with exhalation so this you practice for about 4 to 5 minutes 
So what basically Soham means? So you are consciously reminding ourselves again and again that I am not this body, not this mind. I am a pure blissful consciousness. So that we want to enter to our Chitta. So we are consciously reminding ourselves again and again that I am not this body, not this mind. So this if you practice for 5 minutes, then slowly the mind prepares for meditation. So then you sit for 5 to 6 minutes in absolute silence. Don't put any effort of any sort. So to that silence we call it as meditation when you are not doing anything with the body or with the mind. Slowly that 5 minutes of silence you can extend to 10 minutes, 15 minutes and 20 minutes as you progress on this. So this needs a discipline. You have to put this into practice at a particular time on a daily basis. The ideal time to practice this is morning 5.30 to 6.30 or evening 5.30 to 6.30. This is the ideal time. But if you don't find this time suitable for you, you can practice this any time in the day for that matter. But don't do it immediately after having a meal. So this if you put into practice for about 15 to 20 minutes, Within a matter of one week, you will start feeling a profound change within yourself. How to measure whether it is getting affected or not? Whether the practice what I'm, whatever I am putting into, is it yielding any result or not? How to change, how to basically check that? The best way to check that is, you will start becoming a better human being. You will be more kind more loving towards yourself and towards everyone else. So that is how you can check whether you are progressing on this practice or not. You reducing stress, blood pressure becoming normal, pulse rate becoming normal. These are all side effects that anyway will happen. You need not do. An instrument should not check. An instrument should not tell you you are doing good. Yes, if you are becoming a better human being, that is a right indication. And with this practice, definitely that is going to happen. Health issues will not be there anymore if you put these things into practice. And the other thing, what we discussed in the beginning, throughout the day, we will keep the mind in the present moment. So I wish you all a vibrant health with this kind of practice, definitely it is possible. Thank you.